grow about an escalation of Russian attack in eastern Ukraine, officials recently ordered a mandatory evacuation of all civilians from the Donetsk region. CNN's Nick Robertson has the latest from eastern Ukraine. Let's take a look. Inside a sweltering train station, families wait for a journey to the unknown. A government offer to escape the war in eastern Ukraine. Artem is saying goodbye to his wife Sophia and son Philip. The situation is getting worse, he says. Our son is scared, Sophia adds. Yesterday the shelling was so bad, we decided we just had to go. On the platform, the old and confused helped and heaved aboard. The free train ride westwards, ramping up efforts to relocate civilians before winter. Ludmilla leaving with her family. We don't want to go, she says, but the missiles are flying. I've had no salary for five months. I don't even know where we're going. Officials here are telling us there are far fewer people on the trains right now. Just a few months ago, they say there were hundreds of people crammed into these carriages. It's much emptier now. Hampering evacuation efforts, some who left months ago are coming back. I spent all my money on rent, Valentina says. I'm broke. I have to come back even though we've been told there'll be no heating and no water here this winter. Now we're asking people to leave, uh, the remaining people, to leave as much as possible the city. The mayor of the region's biggest city, Kramatorsk, is struggling. 65,000 civilians here, he says, even as soldiers dig new trenches and rockets regularly impact. It's difficult to protect the cities by our army if uh, we have a lot of citizens. Even closer to the creeping Russian advance in Bakhmut, where officials say seven civilians died in shelling Wednesday, there is resistance to leaving. The Russians are already on the edge of this city. If there was ever a moment for these people to leave, it would be now. I know the government wants us to leave, Sergei says, but I can't. I've got three houses. Who will look after them? He's rigged his basement to be a shelter. This is where they're living, in here. I mean, it's just dust, dirt, corridors. No. He isn't sure if the walls will hold a heavy blast, but says he's got a whistle if the worst happens. <sighs> In Ukraine's east, it's clear it will take more than an offer of a free train ride to get citizens to safety.